when he saw that he was healed, he was cleansed. He turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. In verse 16, verse 16 says, And he fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. A Samaritan. The other people, they were Jews, and this one is Samaritan. And we're told the Samaritans had nothing to do with the Gentiles, but lepers don't make any difference. The Samaritan leper, the Jewish leper, the ten of them, they were together, together in leprosy, together in beseeching the Lord, and together in asking for the mercy of God. And Jesus did not make any difference. The Samaritan and the Jewish lepers, he cleansed all of them. But it's the Samaritan that came back, and Jesus said, look at verse 17. In verse 17, Jesus said, Son, what they are not ten lepers cleansed, but where are the nine? In verse 18, there are not found that return to give glory to God except this stranger. And then in verse 19, it tells us, and he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith has made be whole. Today, your faith will make you whole. In Matthew chapter 11, reading from verse 2, Matthew chapter 11, verse 2, now, when John had heard in the prison the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples, verse 3, and said unto him, as thou he that shall come, or do we look for another? John wanted to know, are you the Christ? Are you the Messiah? Are you that high priest of the new covenant that will be different from all the high priests of the Old Testament? Are you the one to come? Now, how will Christ tell him, I am the Christ? I'm the one to come. Don't look for another. This is the Christ that can cleanse us. This is the Christ that can heal us. This is the Christ that will turn our lives around. This is the Christ that will make us clean and pure, ready for heaven. Look at the answer in verse 4. In verse 4, it said, Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and show John again those things which ye do hear and see. What do we hear? What do we see? Verse 5. In verse 5, it says, The blind receive their sight. Check up in the Old Testament. What do you find anything like that common as is common now with Christ? And the lame will check up in the Old Covenant and the lepers are cleansed. The lepers are cleansed and the dead hear and the dead are raised and the poor have the gospel preached unto them. Those credentials, the credentials of the Messiah, they show that this is the one to come. And in particular, the lepers that have not been cleansed in the old covenant, they are now being cleansed from day to day. Go tell John, and I will know that this is the Christ we've been expecting. Look at verse 6. In verse 6, it says, And blessed is he, whosoever shall not be offended in me. Look at number 2 here. Number 2, the purity through Christ after cleansing from lawlessness. He cleanses us from lawlessness. He tells us in 1 John chapter 3, reading from verse 1. 1 John chapter 3 verse 1, Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Look at verse 2. In verse 2 it says, Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. We shall be like him. He cleanses.
sea salts so that we'll be as clean as he is. He sets us free so that we'll be as free as the one that sets us free. He makes us upright so that our lives will be as upright as the one that makes us upright. Look at verse 3. In verse 3, and every man that has this hope in him purifies himself even as he is pure. He'll make you pure. He'll make you clean. And he'll make you ready for heaven in Jesus' name. In Acts of the Apostles chapter 15 verse 9, it says, And he put no difference between us and them between the Samaritan and the Jews, between one leper and another leper, between the Gentile and the Jew, between us and the apostles. He makes no difference between us and them, purifying their hearts by faith. He will do it today. Look at number three. Number three here is the purpose of Christ in cleansing without limits cleansing without limits no matter how long the leprosy has been there the sin has been there no matter where the sin is in the heart in the habit in the hand in the life no matter how polluted and defiled we have been he can cleanse us he will cleanse us and he will do it by some power in Jesus name look at Hebrews chapter 12 verse 14 it says follow peace with all men he's talking to us who had fighting in our nature and we have the defilement of violence in our nature and then we come to him and he removes he cleanses us from that violent attitude and violent disposition and violent habit and now we can follow peace with all men amen and holiness and holiness even the word the word is pure holiness think about it holiness that word is being cleansed from every pollution they don't use that word in the world it's the word for the kingdom it's a word coming from christ and coming to the redeemed and he gives us the holiness he gives us the purity he gives us the cleansing for the peace with all men and holiness holiness at home and holiness in the office and holiness in the church, holiness in our heart, holiness in our mind, holiness in everything that we do, holiness in every action, holiness by experience, and holiness in every practical way, holiness in our thoughts, holiness unto God, and holiness before men, and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. And he's only one, the leper that is not wholesome. The leper that is not healthy, the leper that will communicate and uh, spread leprosy, he will not be in the house. He will not be in amidst the people of the children of God. But when he's cleansed and is made whole, and every stain and every spot and every appearance of the leprosy is gone, now he can come into the commonwealth of Israel when all our sins are gone from the heart, from the hand, from the habit, from everything that we do, from our language, from our dressing, all the sins are gone and he makes us holy and we can follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord when the rapture takes place, you will be among the people that will go up when the trumpet shall sound and the dead in Christ shall rise and we which are alive shall be caught up together with them you will be among the number look at verse 28 in verse 28 it says wherefore we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly 
fear. That godly fear means reverence. We ought not God, we reverence God, and we're conscious of God everywhere we go. Now the grace of God has come into our lives. We're cleansed, and now, without any limits, without any limitation, now we can know that when he comes, we will be with him in Jesus' name. He will cleanse every leprosy, every defilement, every impurity, every iniquity he will take away the cleansing blood of the land will come upon us and you'll be able to say we we'll praise the Lord Jesus for the power in his cleansing blood. Let's rise up now and talk to the Lord in prayer. You must pray before you go. You must not carry away any leprosy of sin, any defilement of sin, any iniquity. Don't carry anything away. Let's come to the Lord. What the old covenant could not do, the new covenant now has provided for us, and it will cleanse you from every defilement in Jesus' name. Please open your mouth and pray and receive abundant grace before you leave today.